Uh, and just walking and thinking, it really hit me like uh, lately. A lot of like my juniors and you know my underclassmen, they was like, "What you think you gonna miss the most about high school?" And I really couldn't tell them. I really couldn't pinpoint. And now that I'm really thinking about it, it's not the friends. It's it's not the moments. You know what I'm saying? We share with each other all the boohoo, rah rah stuff. But I genuinely miss proving people wrong. Like I can still do it in the real world, but like. It ain't nothing better than seeing them off and be like, oh, your YouTube channel suck. You can't do this, you can't do that. And then, bam, you do it. And they be like, damn, bro hard as fuck. How bro do that? Like, just seeing that face and seeing that, you know what I'm saying? Even teachers, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. But then when you go do it, they like, damn, nice shit, good work. You feel me? I promise you, I just missed that, that jaw drop alone. They be like, damn, how bro do that? And I feel like that's the same thing in everything that I do that I love. YouTube, basketball, school, you know what I'm saying? Just being able to prove them off from wrong. I don't know, it's just like some memory. I don't know, I think that's my competitive nature. Just, when you tell me I can't do something, I'm gonna do everything in my power to do it. And, yeah, like I just genuinely, I think that's what I, I miss the most about high school. There's been so many motherfuckers be like, oh yeah, your YouTube channel ain't gonna never go nowhere, you ain't gonna never do nothing. And, bam, you ain't gonna hit a thousand, hit a thousand, you ain't gonna hit two thousand, I hit two thousand, you know what I'm saying? Oh, your video gonna be trash, bro. They ain't on nothing. Then they see the video, they come to me the next day. Damn, bro, let me get in that video. You feel me? So, I'm gonna miss that the most. But, that's neither here or there, because we're gonna make those memories happen again, and again, and again, and again. Alright, so, the day I'm recording this, um, last night, Anthony Edwards and the Timberwolves. Won the game. Now, my perspective of all of this, if the Wolves will pull some shit out their ass and come back from four, the, the 3-0, hey, I fuck with it, nigga. And you can't tell me at the end was not that nigga. But if the if Dallas, you know what I'm saying, Luke and Kyrie, they getting that motherfucker and they getting the finals, I'm not mad. And Boston winning over there. Finals. All right, look, hear me out. If, if Dallas make it, right, I need Boston to win. Cause it's been too fucking long for Boston. Um, if the Timberwolves make it in there, and it's like they really first, you're really pushing going far. I need them niggas to just win the whole thing. You feel me? Uh, we got a men's league coming up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Me and the guys from high school. Damn, I can say that now. That's kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I actually kind of. Well. Me and the guys from high school. Boy, I sound old as fuck. <sighs> you know, I feel, and this is just me, I've reached um, what we would say like a level of oldness where I can do stuff like this now and be like grunting and shit. You know, I feel like I've reached that age. <laughs> Everything got to be a... <laughs> like, I feel like, you know, just make you sound older and more aggressive. Can't really be quiet no more. Don't sound right. You feel me? Sometimes, I be wanting to slow like my game all the way down and just start playing like Luca. But then I mean, I gotta hit like, the shots that I do take, I have to hit. I don't have room for mess up. Versus when I'm going fast, I can fuck up a lot more. Dead legs. I'm like dead legs in the morning. 
by the end of today, before I leave, we should be way closer than what the fuck I just did. Cause this shit ain't even regulated. And this was pissing me off. Cause nigga at school, that motherfucker regulated. And I be, I don't be ducking, but I be up there. You feel me? Try that James Harden. <laughs> really just be wanting to work on like the, the post and get the post right. Ain't nothing better than do some good old footwork, good post work. But we gonna get improved. Come on now. Come on. We ducking today, man. The verse of the day is, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I would say that means like, your words, then, like basically your words brighten my day. You know what I'm saying? Or my words can really brighten your day. It can be vice versa. But what you say, your words have an impact and it can light another person's path and way. And yeah, I just want to share that verse with y'all today. Um, also today, I, we should be hanging with the guys later on. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know if I want to turn this into a week in my life or uh, a day in my life or whatever, but I might see my girlfriend sometime in the vlog too. I don't know. And uh, talk to y'all when I talk to y'all. Let me put y'all on game. All right. So this ain't probably to everybody. Cause, you know, some people, they live in their best life. But if you feel stressed, overwhelmed, just like this, you don't know what's going on, but like you just don't feel like you're at your best. I'm going to put y'all on game, right? It's the gym right here. If you're not if you're not feeling your best, you're not feeling the way that you feel that you should feel, tap in with God. So bro, pray, read the word, tap in. The more you tap in with God, bro, I promise you your life will be better, bro. Like things just gonna be like so much more peaceful. Like that urge is just like, I don't know how to explain it, but like everything would be peaceful. You tap in with God, you really just like, you know what I'm saying? Anything that you're going through, bro, just pray about it and it'll work itself out. Just tap in and read the word, bro. I feel like if you do that, bro, it really helped. I mean, that's in relationships. That's in, like, whatever you got going on in life, bro. Just pray about it. And things going to work itself out. Might be a little bumpy here and there. But as long as you tap in with God, bro, it's going to work out. <sighs> Today, nigga. I run this shit today, nigga. This shit about a me, nigga. You want for done that? Take out. Ball today, baby. Huh? You gotta make some shake. Mock us to the hell, nigga. With a battery to that bitch. We make it. Shake, shake, nigga. Oh, hey, hey. Yo, he old homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit, not good. <laughs> How did you fall? Lord Jesus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get on this side. Hell no. To the no, no, no. What the fuck y'all doing? Y'all rationing around here? Come on, hook me up. Two little fucking string bass. Give me the goddamn. Let me see some You got two is that Bam! That motherfucker didn't even register. Fuck that shit, bro. Nigga, this is gonna get real, nigga. That's not Fuck. Fuck. I hit last time, but it was just a bad thing. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come set my shit again. 